I'm here with Daniel Nyans. Right. He owns K and D Woodworking. And we're going to get to know Daniel and all of the cool things he does. So thanks for being part of our interview. You're welcome. Tell us, what do you do? Well, first of all, thanks for having me, and it's great to be here. I'm a, I'm a local woodworker, and a, a not traditional woodworking like house building, things like that people think of. I make custom pieces of furniture, and I uh, specialize in making custom uh, cutting boards, handmade custom cutting boards that I sell at uh, several art shows and art venues around the Puget Sound area. Now you have um, a lot of different things that you've done in the past, whether it's furniture or um, cutting boards like you're doing, you're right. also doing really cool lamps. I do really cool arts and crafts style lamps, stickly inspired type lamps, where I cut all the, cut all the pieces, make the shades, and uh, put together some really beautiful uh, artistic lamp pieces. And so what inspired you to start woodworking? Well, I've been in the wood industry, wood products all my life. I went to college in Fortune Wood Technology and, and had been working in structural wood uh, most of my working career. And after that, I started uh, getting into more uh, household pieces and when I got into the furniture and then developed into the cutting board business. And you even went, um, after you had been a manager and owned these companies and retired from that and then started your own passion right. and, and doing what you love is this woodworking. Right. You even got like a degree or like well, I, When we moved from Georgia to, to Washington uh, uh, about 15 years ago, I uh, went to Bates Technical College and took up uh, took a two-year technical course in uh, uh, cabin making and millwork technology. And uh, I was new to the area and, and wanted to, to begin uh, working on my my woodworking passion, so to speak. So I thought I'd get a little more knowledge about cabinet making, and I wanted to find out who the local movers and shakers were in the wood business, and figure if I went to a technical school, it may give me the opportunity to get to at least meet some people and, and uh, do some what they call networking today, I suppose. So uh, I did a two-year program that I finished in eight months, and since then I've started my business and been selling things ever since. Yeah, and so you have these, these um, unique um, cutting boards, and you've created a new design that is only unique to you. Yeah, I, a few years ago, I came up with a different concept for a cutting board. Uh, it seems pretty mundane, but, a, but it's a really a piece of, a cutting board really can be a piece of functional kitchen art. And I make large cutting boards you can put in your countertop, leave out, use and enjoy every day. Well, this, this design uh, is made for, um, and for large boards that are uh, self-draining and, and uh, takes all the juices off the surface of the cutting board and directs it where you want to go rather than where it wants to go. So there's no juice screw to clean and maintain. The juice is all drained to one end of the board and you, you can slide a platter plate under the end of the board. It's raised up and, and notched out to collect the juices or you can let it overhang your sink, let everything drain into the sink when you're finished, you wipe it off. You're basically working on the flat surface and uh, it's much more sanitary uh, more useful functional design. And now tell us, like, you had mentioned that your boards are all over the world. Yeah, I've uh, been doing this now for 11 years, and I uh, have a, a website uh, and a Facebook presence, mm -hmm. but uh, I sell uh, most of my things at local art shows, and my business cards have managed to find their way through through word of mouth and, and uh, through people have seen my show, send them to relatives all around the, all around the country and around the world. I have cutting boards that are in Australia, and, uh, South America, Europe, Canada, just about, not in Africa yet, but just about everywhere else. But you'll ship them. I ship them, yes. Yeah, very cool. Thing. Sure do. And you have the, um, a majority of different styles, right? Like they're not well, I have, all the same. I, I have, uh, I, well, first of all, I don't, I don't make duplicates of anything, basically. Mm -hmm. Every board is individual. If, uh, individual in in uh, and you make the them all. It's I, you. I make I make From every I make every single one. The smaller cheese boards, I've got a couple different designs for small boards that I make a, a large volume quantities of and sell. But uh, the the larger cutting boards are all each one is uh, all the wood is all hand selected by me, and I lay up different patterns, and they're all different colors and uh, different sizes. And the color is all natural wood colors. There's no stains or dyes. It's all just the natural colors of the woods. 
and different grain patterns and every piece of wood is different so every board you know, even if you try to make one look identical to the next they're all unique and different because every piece of wood has a different grain pattern a different figure and a little bit different color so you can, so my boards are all all very that way but i also randomize the patterns completely so I'm, i've made and sold over a thousand cutting boards in the last couple of years and there's been no duplicates oh very cool now tell us something that that others wouldn't know about your business you had mentioned well, uh, that wouldn't know about my business. Well, like I, I'm very, I, I, uh, I don't spend a lot of money and buy a lot of woods. So I reclaim a lot, most of my inventory of wood that I have, I buy, I buy, uh, buy or, or, or uh, collect from uh, Craigslist or different places like they have, uh, estate sales, things such as that. And I'll pick up uh, all kinds of different pieces of furniture or discarded wood and reclaim it and turn it into something very beautiful and very useful. Mm -hmm. I do buy, I do deal with a couple of wholesalers to get my specialty import exotic woods to get the color variations that I like. But the majority of the wood I try to pick up and recycle from wherever I can locally. That's so awesome. Now, and you have like a vision that you, you have on your business card and your site. Tell us about that. Well, I have uh, on my business card that... Uh, uh, head besides my website, how to get a hold of me. Uh, I have uh, my my business uh, mantra, so to speak, mm -hmm. is uh, bringing bringing wood to life. And anything I, that I make is something that uh, is a piece of functional kitchen art that you can use and, and use and, and enjoy every day. And it, and you can bring that in your home. And you're it's like giving that dead tree or dead piece of wood new life as something else that you can use and, and enjoy and have. Oh, I love that. And, and what does K&D mean? K&D stands for Katie, and my wife's name is Katie, and it's Katie and Dan mm -hmm. Nines. So it's K&D, and she's my bookkeeper, accountant, uh, taskmaster, and uh, something... Uh, I, I, can't do the, I can't do what I do without her, although I do all the work myself making these things uh, in order to sell, market, and do shows and uh, things that I do. Uh, she's a vital part of the business, and, and, and from, from setting for all for the logistics of setting up getting things ready for a show, uh, organizing the booth so the presentation is nice, and collecting all the money and uh, running all the charge cards. It takes it takes two of us to, to do a bar booth anyway because I just stay so busy talking to customers and answering people's questions that I don't have time. And we'll have people literally lined up out of the booth into the street buying, mm -hmm. holding things to buy. That's so cool. And so. I mean, they make beautiful products, or, or you do, I should yes. say. She helps you stay organized yes. and all those good things. And, Thank you so much, Daniel, for doing this interview and for like bringing wood to life and thank you. Thank sharing you very this much. amazing um, love and knowledge that you have. And um, we appreciate your time and thanks okay. for being part of the interview. I'm gonna give you a hug. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so I much. Thank you. Bye guys, thanks for watching.